evening, everyone. My name is Maureen McCarthy, and I serve as the president of the Friends of Education Alumni Board at Salem State University. Tonight, on behalf of the Friends, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Northeast Regional Educators Hall of Fame ceremony. Tonight's event features three first-class educators who have made and are continuing to make meaningful contributions to the field of education. Now, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Joe Cambone, Dean of the School of Education at Salem State University. Thank you, Maureen. Good evening. My name is Joseph Cambone, and I serve as the Dean of the School of Education here at Salem State University. Founded as Salem Normal School, then later becoming Salem Teachers College and now Salem State University, our reputation as an elite institution for preparing tomorrow's educators stands proudly today. We are very excited tonight, once again, to host the Northeast Regional Educators Hall of Fame ceremony. And although we are celebrating virtually tonight, it's important to take the time to recognize outstanding educators in the field of education. The past year and a half has been challenging for teachers everywhere to say the least but it has also been an inspiring opportunity to witness the incredible strength, versatility, and commitment that teachers possess. Tonight's event features three first-class educators in their respective fields who have made, are currently making, or show great potential in contributions to the craft of education. In addition, all three recipients this year are alumni of Salem State and a testament to the first-class education that students receive here. It's now my pleasure to welcome the 14th president of Salem State University, John Keenan. Thank you, Dean Cambone. Good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to join you tonight for the 2021 Northeast Regional Educators Hall of Fame. I would like to thank the Salem State University Alumni Association and the Friends of Education Board for organizing this wonderful award program. As a university with a long history of training and preparing educators, we're especially honored to acknowledge those that contribute to the field of education within the local communities of the Northeast region. Salem State began as a training school for teachers in 1854 as the Salem Normal School. We have been committed to offering quality education for teachers for more than 165 years. Over 16,000 alumni have graduated with degrees majoring in education, 80% of which live right here in Massachusetts. Our alumni educators have had an enormous impact on the educational, economic, cultural, and civic life of the Commonwealth and beyond. This impact can be seen in the work of our inductees through both the breadth of their careers in education and the depth of the influence they have had on the lives of citizens they serve. The goal of this important award program is to provide a platform for recognizing these talented educators who work in the Northeast region of Massachusetts. As part of tonight's event, I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame Selection Committee, whose members have spent the last two years soliciting nominations, screening applicants, and making difficult decisions on which educators should receive this prestigious honor. We are delighted to continue this tradition at Salem State, and especially within our Northeast region, which provides a source of inspiration for our current student population. Congratulations to those who were nominated and to those who will be inducted this evening. And thank you all for being here. And now I'm gonna turn it back to Maureen McCarthy for the rest of the program. Maureen? Thank you, President Keenan, for your kind words and for being with us this evening. We will now move on to the recognition portion of our program, beginning with the Salem State Alumni Award. Each nominee for this award must be a graduate of the undergraduate or graduate schools of Salem State University. The Alumni Award is presented to an exemplar who consistently demonstrates the best practices of his or her alma mater. Please join me in welcoming the Reverend Julie Flowers to introduce Ms. Gabrielle Montevecchi. Thank you, Maureen. It's my pleasure to be here and representing the entire Hannah School PTO, as well as our Beverly community, all of whom came together to nominate our friend and our principal, Gabrielle Montevecchi, for this award. I want to tell you a quick story that I think, from my perspective, tells you what you need to know about Gabrielle as an educator. 
when my son Emmett was going into second grade, he had a pet guinea pig who died the day before the first day of school, and he was really upset about it. And so I ended up reaching out to Gabrielle knowing that she probably wouldn't see the email or be able to do much about it because I can't imagine a busier day in an elementary school for a principal than the first day of school. And yet on that first day of school, Gabrielle was prepared and looking for Emmett. And as soon as he arrived, she came over to him wearing a necklace that he had made for her the year before when he was in first grade. And as his mom, I was mostly astounded that she still knew where it was because I probably would not have. But I heard her get down on one knee so she could look Emmett in the eye and say to him, Emmett, do you know why I'm wearing this necklace today? It's because it reminds me that what's happening with kids is the most important thing. And what's happening for you today is most important to me. And when Emmett finished his Hannah School career at the end of fourth grade, Gabrielle was there on that last day of school still wearing that necklace. To me, that tells you what you need to know about our friends and outstanding principal, Gabrielle Montevecchi. And it's my pleasure and my honor to represent our community in presenting Gabrielle today with the Northeast Educators Regional Hall of Fame Salem State Alumni Award. Gabrielle is a triple Viking and we can't think of anybody more deserving than her for this award. Congratulations, Gabrielle. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you to the families and the students of the Hannah School community who generously considered me as a nominee for the Salem State University Hall of Fame Alumni Award. I want you all to know that I have the best job in the world and I couldn't be more proud to serve this community. It is also important that I thank my family, my husband Emmanuel and my two fabulous kids, Lil and Josie, for all of their love and all of their patience. I would really like to thank my late mother for all of her tremendous support as she was also a graduate of the Salem Normal School. Throughout my time in Beverly, I have been mentored by leaders who have supported and guided me. Dr. Hershey, Dr. Chirochek, and Dr. Flaherty, I thank you for always putting the needs of our students and families at the forefront of your decision-making. I am so proud to call myself a triple Viking in my CAGS program, I had the incredible opportunity to be mentored and supported by Kevin Fahey and JC Apolito, who share a vision to develop strong teacher leadership in our schools, which I carry with me in my work every day. I've had the privilege to work with numerous Salem State University graduates through my time in Lynn, Salem, and Beverly, and the innovation and passion that these educators share is more than impressive. The Hall of Fame Award is something that touches me really profoundly. As a young undergraduate student, all I wanted to do was help kids succeed, and I knew that school didn't always work well for all young people. As a school leader, my goal is the same, to make a positive impact for the students and families that I serve, and to help educators find the leadership within themselves to create new possibilities for the children that they work with. At this time, educators are called upon to create schools which are safe and joyful places where students and families can see themselves represented. We must recognize that here on the North Shore, our school faculties do not yet reflect the diversity of our students. Salem State University graduates must work to create this change. My thanks to the Salem State Alumni University Board for your recognition, and I look forward to continuing to serve to the very best of my ability. Thank you, Gabrielle. And congratulations on being this year's Hall of Fame Alumni Award recipient. Next, we will award the Dorothy M. Foley 48 Northeast Region Award. This award is presented to an educator who promotes the mission of education through work in any related capacity demonstrates early evidence of significant contributions to his or her school district, college, or organization within the Northeast region. We are proud to have named this award in honor of longtime Revere educator and beloved Salem State volunteer, Mrs. Dorothy M. Foley, who passed away in August of 2018. Now, please join me in welcoming tonight's presenter of this award, Ms. Arlene Amato Hansen from the Friends of the School of Education. 
Thank you, Maureen. It is with utmost pride that I nominate my friend and fellow educator, Rose DeLuca, for the Dorothy M. Foley 48 Northeast Regional Hall of Fame Award. Rose in all ways mirrors the dedication and excellence of what Dorothy Foley stood for. Her constant pursuit to make the field of special education and its experiences the best it can be for the students of City of Revere and the student teachers of Salem State are truly a reflection of what Dorothy always and consistently exemplified. What makes Rose so special is her attention to details, her willingness to take on difficult issues and see them to successful completion has always impressed me over the years. Her dedication to her family is one of the most precious observances that I have witnessed. Kindness and generosity is always foremost on her mind, no matter where she is or where she goes on her lifetime journey. As friends since our high school days at Revere High School and educators, we have served together on the Friends of Education Board at Salem State University for several years and participated in many events, including the annual trip to Florida for building alumni relations. Dorothy Foley grew up in the Beachmont section of Revere, was an honors graduate of Revere High School and an exemplary graduate of Salem State College. Dot loved being with her family and was loved by all who came to be in her life. With all this in mind, it seemed only natural that Rose DeLuca would be the best candidate to receive an award in Dot's honor. Rose mirrors all the qualities of an exceptional mother, grandmother, sister, friend, and educator. Rose has touched the lives of parents, students, colleagues, administrators, and has devoted much of her time and expertise to the city of Revere and the Salem State University family. This is exactly what Dorothy aspired to during her personal and professional life. Let me take the opportunity to walk through some of the aspects of Rose's journey in her professional life. Rose grew up in East Boston, and then her family moved to Revere, where she first met Dot, who was a guidance counselor, and then principal. Rose graduated with honors from Revere High School. Salem State College was next on Rose's journey in securing a Bachelor of Science degree in education and English. Rose returned to teach in Revere Public Schools and their work intertwined. It was with determination and dedication that drove Rose to succeed in her quest to further her education. The next part of her journey led her to UMass Boston, where she received her master's in special education. After several years of being an integral part of the special education department in the city of Revere, Rose pursued her studies even further and returned to her alma mater of Salem State College to study and receive her CAGS or Certificate of Advanced Graduate Studies in Educational Leadership. Rose graduated with highest honors, a perfect 4.0, and was inducted into the Salem State Honor Society Phi Kappa Phi. Currently, Rose is an adjunct faculty, senior visiting instructor, program supervisor, in the Graduate Division of the Education Department at Salem State University. Rose was recruited to continue to utilize her expertise at the university level 
upon retiring. Rose accepted and became an inspirational supervisor with her compassion for teaching and mentoring students in their quest for the best education they can achieve. Rose, as always, going beyond expectations, was assisting the student teachers by helping them with their licensure applications and seeking employment. Previous to Salem State University, Rose was an in administrator and educator in the Revere Public Schools for 37 years. To sum up the exceptional qualities of Rose DeLuca, Rose received a prestigious commendation from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts House of Representatives. Rose, you are loved by all that know you and we are all proud of you today. You certainly proved that you always rose to the occasion of being the best that you could be. It is my pleasure to present the Dorothy Foley Regional Educators Hall of Fame Award. So now let me take a moment and read to you the citation that Rose received from the House of Representatives. Be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Rose Colonino DeLuca in recognition of your induction to the Dorothy Foley Northeast Regional Educators Hall of Fame at Salem State University. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors. Given this 17th day of November 2021 at the State House, Boston, Massachusetts, by Ronald Mariano, Speaker of the House, Jessica Giannino, the State Representative, and Jeffrey Rosario Turco, who is also a State Representative, who was very kind in putting together this commendation for Rose on this special day. Thank you, Arlene, for your wonderful words and that special surprise. Good evening to all, especially thank you to President Keenan, School of Education Dean Cambone, Assistant Dean Harris, the Alumni Relations Office, the Alumni Association, President Maureen and the Friends of Education. A personal thanks also to my nominator and all the supporting reference writers. I am so happy, honored, and humbled to have been selected as the 2021 Dorothy M. Foley 48 Northeast Regional inductee into the Northeast Region Hall of Fame. This honor is to be shared with my family, friends, and school communities who have supported me throughout my educational journey starting at age four in the East Boston Public Schools and continuing to this day. Mine was a multi-generational bilingual home where education was important and my parents helped all four of their children in every way possible to do well in school. My family moved to Revere when I was in grade nine and it was there that I met Mrs. Dorothy Foley, my guidance counselor for the very first time. As I continued on to Revere High School, Mrs. Foley became a principal. When I decided to become a teacher, I chose Salem State University. I was the first one in my huge Italian family to attend college and graduate. I interviewed with Mrs. Foley for a position in Revere and then began a career that spanned 37 years. I was a special education teacher, evaluation team leader, 
curriculum coordinator, and assistant administrator of special education. I also managed to squeeze in Revere Youth Soccer Coach and Officer at the same time. In the meantime, I worked with Mrs. Foley in various capacities and always admired her strength, fortitude, and vision. She was indeed a legendary educator. When I retired, I returned to Salem State University as a program supervisor. It was at a chance meeting with Dorothy Foley that she asked me if I would like to join the, the Salem State Alumni Association. That was the beginning of my 17 years of volunteerism to Salem State University. Once again, she led by example. She was a relentless volunteer, always first to help at any event. I am truly honored to have known her and to have been selected for this award. Arlene, I graciously accept the Dorothy M. Foley 48 Northeast Regional Hall of Fame Award. In closing, I would like to say thank you to so many in my life who have helped me achieve this honor tonight. I stand on the shoulders of those who courageously blazed the path before me. Thank you to my brave ancestors, grandparents, parents, particularly my mom who is watching tonight. She was so very brave, leaving behind her family for a better life for her children. And I thank my siblings. Thank you to my husband and sons who sacrificed so much throughout my teaching career in my pursuit of a master's and CAGS. Thank you to my daughters-in-law, my five grandchildren, and my colleagues and friends who have always offered support. Proudly, I thank Salem State University every day for the opportunities it has afforded me, and I will continue to praise its benefits to all. Molto grazie and thank you. Congratulations, Rose. You're a most deserving inductee. Now, our final award of the evening is the Dr. Edna Moriello 44 Lifetime Achievement Award, which is presented to an educator who has at least 20 years of experience in the field and who has demonstrated leadership and made significant contributions to his or her respective school district, college or university, or educational organization. To present tonight's final recipient, please join me in welcoming Ms. Monica Caporelli, who will introduce Adam DeLady. Thank you, Maureen. Um, the words that come to mind when re reviewing the lifetime achievement of Adam DeLady are brilliant and innovative. Adam DeLady attended Salem State University from 1993 to 1998, earning a Bachelor's of Arts in Elementary Education. Immediately upon graduation, Adam entered the Ch Chelsea Public Schools as a science teacher. He continued his education at Salem State from 98 to 2002, earning a Master's of Ed in Middle School Studies. Adam was a mathematics teacher for the Saugus and Revere Public Schools. Revere acknowledged Adam's talents and appointed him as a mathematics coach for grades K through 12. Adam received his Certificate of Advanced Studies in Mathematics Curriculum and instruction at Lesley University in 2008. Finally, he became a National Board Certified Teacher and completed the Merrimack Leadership Academy Principal Preparation Program in 2010. To complement his desire for teaching and learning, Adam became an adjunct professor at Lesley University. In addition, his special interest in universal design for learning led him to the Center for Applied Special Technology Adam became a professional learning cadre member and instructor in many school districts throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts through DESE and CAST Academy. Again, due to his advanced skill set in UDL, Adam implemented UDL in Revere and Chelsea Public Schools through school wide professional development. From 2011 to 2015, Adam was hired as an assistant principal at the Susan B. Anthony Middle School in Revere. During that time, he carried out many administrative duties beyond the school day, including special education team meetings, collaboration, school resource offices, equity coordinators, the best team, after school functions, PTO, and family events. As an assistant principal, he developed positive relationships with many parents and students. As a result, these relationships fostered better communication and more social emotional support for students. 2015 to 2019, Adam 
was lead principal at the Berkowitz Elementary School in Chelsea and lead principal for MCAS accountability. The Berkowitz Elementary School is very diverse with the Latino population of which the majority falls beneath the poverty line. Adam was not only the principal, but became the leader of the elementary school complex, which encompassed four schools. He led the school improvement council and established many evening activities so that the students and parents felt welcome to the school community. Adam paid special attention to the students in the special education classrooms, specifically the classrooms that house students with autism. During his tenure as principal, Adam served on many administrative and school-based committees. His consistent and inspirational leadership style was recognized by central office, the office of the superintendent, and soon he was called upon to serve the district in the role of assistant superintendent of student services in 2019. In March of 2019, COVID struck Chelsea with fierce intensity. Many families did not have food, healthcare technology, money to pay their rent. Adam was immediately appointed to the position of district COVID lead, acting as the intermediary between DESE, state and town officials. Through his leadership skills, Adam was able to identify not only the learning needs and requirements of the school community, he was able to assure that students and families were able to get food, technology devices, provide healthcare options and manage all school nurses of their duties with regard to COVID-19. In his 23 years, Adam's dedication to education is an inspiration to all who know him and work with him. His passion for learning has, has enabled him to develop into a lifelong learner and leader. It's now my great pleasure to award Adam the Lady the Edna Moriello Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. Good evening. My name is Adam DeLady, Assistant Superintendent for Chelsea Public Schools, and I am honored to accept the Edna Moriello Lifetime Achievement Award. As I reflect on my career, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the impact that Salem State has had. First and foremost, Salem State provided me with an opportunity to access a high quality and affordable college education. Without that, I would not be standing before you today. Once there, I not only received the tools necessary, to be prepared for immediate success in my first year as a classroom teacher, but I also learned the values necessary to comprehend the importance of serving the community. Salem State taught me at an early age that education equals opportunity. This was the primary factor in my decision to go into the educational field. During my career, I've been blessed to work alongside some truly gifted individuals. Educators like Deanne Lavodi, Ken Gross, Paul Dakin, Monica Caparelli, Matt Costa, Joanne Willette, Diane Kelly, Grace Mayo, David Rose, Mary Burke, and Almi Abeta have all had a collective impact on who I am as an educator, as well as a human being. Lastly, I'd like to thank my parents for pushing me to be the best I can be, and my wife, Mercy, and two beautiful children, Constantina and Lucas, for supporting me and sharing me with the communities in which I work. Thank you. Congratulations to all of our most deserving recipients. Now, I'd like to welcome Jenny Dale Holland to honor our recipients with a short musical performance. the distance 
breaking old records they thought never could be broke. Yeah, do it for your people, do it for your pride. Ever gonna know if you never even try? Do it for your country, do it for your name, cause it's gonna be a day when you're standing in the Hall of Fame. Don't wait for luck. Dedicate yourself and you'll go find yourself standing in the hall. 